What's going on people and welcome to my match recap for yesterday's game, Manchester United 3, Norwich 2, with a Cristiano Ronaldo hat-trick saving us and saving our embarrassment of nearly getting a point against Norwich, which is no, well it is a bit of a slight on them, but I said before the game that they're going to have a lot of fight, they've got it all to fight for, they're trying to stay up. And that's what happened, but defensively, on our part, we were shocking again. And you can't be playing like that against bottom of the league at your own place as well at home and getting nearly not getting anything from the game, really, because Norwich could have won it also as well with some of the chances. And De Gea made some crucial saves again for us, but it's bottom of the league. And what's our standards? What's, what's the values at this club anymore? Because... Them performances are shocking. And if it wasn't for Ronaldo yesterday, we wouldn't have won the game. Facts. We can't just rely on moments. Like, we did this under Oli. We've done it for years. We can't just rely on moments to get us out of games that we don't deserve to be getting anything from. I think the performance was better yesterday in certain parts. But on the defensive side, it wasn't. Um, and that's always going to be a problem. So, uh, just not good enough. Um, I don't fully agree with some of the, the players Ranik picked and went with. Um, obviously, there was no McTominay, no Cavani, no Fred, uh, no Shaw, no Varane. And I think Lindelof and Maguire had bad games. I think Delo and Tellez both were pretty poor as well. As I said, if it wasn't for Ronaldo, we wouldn't have won that game yesterday. I think Alanga and Sancho were, were looking pretty good and quite lively. And De Gea as well kept us in the game. Maguire injuring... Pogba this week, <laughs> making him bleed on his head because he kicked him in the head from a corner. The other week, oh, he headbutted Ronaldo. I mean, what are you doing? And this is our captain. It's embarrassing. He can't captain, he can't lead, and he's injuring his own players. If you're going to injure someone, injure the opposition. But he injures his own players. Might as well be one of the Chuckle Brothers. It's embarrassing. We did get a win yesterday, but only just. And if it wasn't for Ronaldo, it would have been a draw. So... Oh, arguably, we would have lost the game yesterday if Ronaldo weren't there because he got all the goals. As I said, a few bright moments from, from Sancho um, and Alanga. Alanga obviously doing very well with his pressing off the ball to, to get the first goal for Ronaldo with a tap-in setting it up. Um, and I thought Sancho looked lively in spells. But the rest of the team were, were poor. Bruno again, poor. I don't know what's happened to him, but he... Talk about consistently shit. It, that's what he's doing. Um... As for the player ratings, David De Gea, I give him a six, just above average. Um, you could arguably give him a seven for some of the saves he made. Um, I'd give him a six. Again, I feel sorry for him. And for me, he's the one that should be the captain, even over Ronaldo, because even though Ronaldo got a hat-trick yesterday, I think that he's been missing for a while now, apart from yesterday. And I think De Gea's been the one that's been saving us a lot. So, no pun intended. Um, so De Gea a six, and I think that going forward he needs to be captain if if he's going to stay at the club. So and he's doing all the post match interviews as well at the moment. We're not seeing Maguire do it, are we? And that's meant to be a captain, so that speaks volumes in itself. The stuff with Ronaldo the other week with a phone and all that as well. Like David De Gea leads by example on the pitch and off the pitch. So for me, De Gea should be captain. De Low four. I thought it was one of his poorer games since he's come back to the club from loan from AC Milan. Just thought he was a bit poor defensively. Wasn't great going forward either, which he usually is, is pretty good at. So I thought he was below average yesterday. Lindelof a four. I thought he made a, a lot of mistakes yesterday. I thought he started well, but then the mistakes started creeping in quite a bit. And yeah, I just didn't think it was a great performance. So four for Lindelof. Maguire gets a free. As I said, he's injuring people. He's out of position numerous times. He's just not good enough and he doesn't lead and he's not a captain. And, and when we're up against it like yesterday, we need someone that's going to demand standards and lead by example. And he doesn't. So for me, a free for Maguire. Tellez, a free as well. I like Tellez, but yesterday was poor. Defensively poor. A lot of the mistakes, the goals came down his side with Lindelof. But he was constantly out of position yesterday, Tellez. And we got punished for it, so... Tellez, one of his worst games I've seen him have. Three. Pogba, he got booed after the game and he's doing that, going down the tunnel. Um, he's obviously going to be off and, and going soon, so he's not that bothered. Um, but I do think that he was poor again yesterday and didn't influence the game. And some of his stature and ability, and we know what he can do, it wasn't there yesterday. And I think that them boos are warranted. But we have to be booing the English players too. 
Because why aren't we booing Maguire? Why aren't we booing Shaw when he's playing bad? Why aren't we booing him? Because I don't see it equally across the players. Depending on what country they're from, the English players get a lot more leeway. And they shouldn't because they're some of the worst, if not more consistently worse than the foreign players. i just like to see a bit more of an equal player field on that sense. But Pogba for me, four. Sancho gets a six. Above average, I thought he looked lively, tried to make things happen, I thought he looked dangerous at times. I thought he was one of the better performers yesterday. Six for Sancho. Bruno, three. I thought he, he went missing in the game. Again, giving up a lot of passes needlessly, trying to make things happen that aren't on. Just decision making and at times of like one twos and things and holding on to the ball too long and moaning at other people when, when he's making the mistakes. So... Bruno, free, and I think he really needs to up his game and sort his attitude out as well. So, free for Bruno. Lingard, I actually thought I had an average game. I'd give him a five. I thought he'd done a lot of work off the ball. And he had a shot at one point which could have gone in, but Krull saved. But a good move that he was involved in and could have got a goal. And I thought he was pretty positive. Did kind of drift in and out of the game, but I thought he was okay and definitely not one of the worst. So, Lingard, even though he, despite he wants to be going, I thought he did okay yesterday. So, i give him a five. Alanga, six, obviously he gets the opening goal for us with a setup for Ronaldo with his off-the-ball off work, with his pressing. Dispossesses Gibson and, and lays it on a plate for, for Ronaldo to tap home. So I thought Alanga was very good yesterday. Six, Ronaldo obviously gets a hat-trick, header, tap-in and a free kick. Very well-rounded hat-trick. He wasn't hugely involved in the game for long periods of time, but... I thought in spells he was, and, and he was involved in a few good moves. Um, and obviously, he saved us in the game and, and got the winner as well. So, hat-trick and all the goals come from him. Um, he can't do it without his teammate. It was the Ronaldo we expect yesterday, and the one that hasn't been there for a while. So, he has been getting criticism lately, and I think a lot of it has been warranted. He stood up yesterday and, and bounced back from it. So... I think he's man of the match yesterday, Ronaldo, and he gets an 8 for me. Um, we had a few subs come on, Mata, Rashford and Matic. I thought Matic was average. I thought Rashford, probably a 4, 3 or 4 for Rashford. I don't think we noticed him at all. And Mata, average as well. I thought he did okay when he came on. Nothing special, nothing great, but an average, I thought. Mata, Matic, 5, Rashford, 3 or 4. And Ranić, I'd give him a 3 because... I know we got the win, but against bottom of the league, we need to be winning them games more clearly by a bigger gap and more convincingly. I can't say it anymore. Ronaldo saved us in that game yesterday. If he's not there, we probably lose that game at home. The standards at the club are, are poor and we're relying on individuals to save us when it's meant to be about a team. And they all look a bit out of place for me. Just not convinced. I'd, I wouldn't have started Maguire yesterday. And I think, again, he was poor. I would have gone with Bay. We literally had no midfield yesterday. I've given Pogba a poor rating, but he was literally the only one in midfield at times. And everyone, we've got about four or five people in like a false nine position or four attackers up the pitch and then a gap between them and the defence and Pogba in the middle on his own. And I don't care who you are, you can't play one in the middle unless you're good enough. And we're not good enough. Especially with a player that is not going to be here soon and wants to be going and it's known that he wants to be leaving and you're putting all the responsibility on him in the midfield to hold it together. You need support in the midfield and that wasn't there yesterday. There was a massive gap in the midfield of just Pogba in there and they've got about three or four players running through. You could be the bottom of the league team and still cause problems because you're getting outnumbered in that position. He's not Superman, Pogba. It's just a mess because I can only see it getting worse now. He's doing that to the fans yesterday for getting abuse. He doesn't want to be here anymore. So it's a, it's, we're playing with fire because McTominay and Fred weren't available yesterday. They're not good enough anyway in that position when they are available. And we don't have any backups because Matic is now going, who put out a statement or leaving at the end of the season. We are fucked in that position because McTominay and Fred are not defensive midfielders despite what Ranić thinks. They are not defensive midfielders. They're not good enough to play that role. Matic is going and he's the only one that could do it. And we're playing Pogba there yesterday to cover the whole of the midfield against about three or four other players. Three or four against one. It's not going to work, even if you are bottom of the league team. Because you're getting outnumbered. So I think we're lucky to get a result yesterday in terms of getting a win especially. We could have lost that game if Ronaldo wasn't playing. It's as simple as that. So for me, I think Ranić, he can't do, he can't go on the pitch and play how he wants the players to play. But at the same time, 
I'm not seeing the chemistry. I'm not seeing the team like bonding. I'm I'm not seeing it. I know we won, but that fluidity still doesn't look like it's there, and it's worrying. And I think other teams are slipping up at the moment around us, which is helping us. But we will slip up as well. So I just think the teams that are slipping up at the moment have more chemistry and fluidity that when they get back on it, they will win more than we will. So that is an issue. And I think we will struggle to get Europa position because of that. And we need about five or six players coming in the transfer window. And I think we'll be lucky if we get three. And that's a huge problem in itself as well. So I think we were lucky yesterday. Man of the match, Ronaldo. I think De Gea, Sancho and Alanga look lively too. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys, and what you thought and who your man of the match was. Yeah, but not a great performance yesterday. Even though we won, we made a meal of it like we always do against a team that we really should have more noticeable gap against in terms of the result. It should have been about 4 or 5-2, not 3-2. A lot of work to do as always. And I'm worried because even with Ten Hag coming in, as long as these owners are in place, I think that there's going to be restrictions on whoever comes in. Ranik wasn't allowed to let his coaches come in. Do you know what I mean? And, and even his role now, when, when Ten Hag comes in, looks like it's going to be more from a distance than we were previously told. So, the club is a mess. It's a joke, as always. Uh, the fans doing a protest yesterday before the game. But then you're coming in after and watching it. So, I just don't think it achieves anything other than makes you look stupid. I know they want change, but it's not going to change unless you affect the, the, the owners and, and unless you stop, stop going to matches and stop buying merchandise and stuff. I don't see how it's going to affect the, the owners. Protests won't do shit. As we've seen before, it won't do nothing. So I think that they're wasting their time without the fans. They're entitled to do it, but I think you're wasting your time. You're making yourself look silly. That's my thoughts on it, guys. I'll see you soon.